We all use the internet, but have you ever thought about how it can be improved? Well, the Swiss-based organization Definity set out to answer this very question. The result? The internet computer. Such a big concept, and the technology involved is so powerful and complex, and it's the product of you know many, many years of R&D by a huge team. I think it's a lot for people to take on. They almost can't believe that the internet can provide an alternative. Today, I'm joined by Definity's founder, Dominic Williams, to find out how he's really reinventing the internet. So first of all, Dominic, welcome to Davos. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I would love for you to take us back to the very beginning. This was in 2015 when you were first starting to develop this idea of the internet computer. Just walk us through what was going through your mind then? Well, I'd been working on making decentralized networks much faster for, for a while and, and grappling with the theoretical computer science that underpins them. And, uh, you know, at some point it became apparent to me that it would be possible to create the internet computer, a real world computer, if you like, that could um, uh, pr provide a public infrastructure that acted as an alternative to traditional IT um, so that people could build websites, web applications and internet services directly on the internet itself. And really the aim was to create a better compute platform. And one analogy is that, you know, you're in the field of transport and you suddenly realize that an aeroplane is possible. Um, and of course, once I saw that it was possible, I became obsessed with realizing the, the vision. How should regular individuals like you and I think about using the world computer in the future? How will this really change our daily life or just make things a little more seamless? Um, if you've wanted to build on the internet computer, you'd have needed to be um, a developer and have technical skills. Um, we're now entering a new phase um, where there's a paradigm called the self-writing internet emerging. And with the self-writing internet paradigm, you can just, if you like, talk to an AI and it will build, update and manage websites, web applications and internet services for you. And we think this is gonna be transformative because it effectively makes um, all 8 billion people on earth into developers. So, you know, you might be an individual that wants a personal branding website, a wedding planner, a portal for a club. You might be an entrepreneur that wants to, or a small business that wants to create an e-commerce website or a, a sharing economy application with Web3 Rails. You might be, you know, a, a corporate or business uh, or government department that is currently spending a lot of money on SaaS services for CRM and ERP functionality. Um, and in the future, you'll be able to use the self-writing internet to, to, to get out of that. So um, it's gonna be tremendously empowering and democratizing. And in the future, you'll just be able to, if you like, talk, talk to the internet to build out your own corner of the internet ecosystem. Okay, well, I'll come back to you on this uh, in a few years time to see where we're at. Now, Dominic, we really have to talk about the fourth industrial revolution. Clearly, it's a huge topic over at the World Economic Forum this year. How do you think that Definity can really play a role in this bigger picture? First of all, it provides the world with an alternative IT stack um, that's a public infrastructure. So people can build on the internet itself using a new kind of software and they'll not be captive customers of a big tech corporation running a cloud service or um, selling a database or something like that. Secondly, when they build, uh, the website, web application, internet service will be tamper proof, which means immune to traditional forms of cyber attack. And this addresses one of the most pressing problems in, in, in technology today. And lastly, um, the self-writing internet will allow people simply to talk to AI to create, update and manage uh, websites, web applications and internet services. And that's gonna be um, empowering and to, to a tremendous number of people around the world and really sort of democratize access to the tech economy and change how we think about the internet. Because instead of, you know, buying pre-existing um, products and services and trying to customize them, people will just talk to AI and get exactly the service they want. And it's gonna be sovereign. Um, 
they're not going to be captive customers. They're going to own the underlying software, even though they won't modify it themselves. And that's going to just change the nature of the internet and the nature of the tech economy. I think it's important also to weave in here artificial intelligence, obviously the talk of the town. So on that note, how is the internet computer using AI to create applications? And really, how groundbreaking is this? On the one hand, the internet computer can be used to host AI models, um, not currently for training, but for inference, um, where it runs them uh, with slightly less efficiency than traditional IT, but with the huge advantage that they're tamper-proof, so they can't be hacked, and all your super important data can't be exfiltrated, and unstoppable. And on the, the, the other um, hand, uh, the internet computer supports something called the self-writing internet. So we believe in the future that um, every, everyone on the planet who can um, speak natural language is potentially a dev developer and owner of websites, web applications, and internet services. And in the future, people will just talk to AI um, and then refresh a URL to create what they want and uh, in a way build out their own corner of the internet e ecosystem. And the internet computer um, supports a lot of advanced computer science that makes it feasible for AI um, to build, uh, update, and manage these websites and web applications and internet services on behalf of you know, non-technical users who just simply issue natural language instructions. So the WEF is taking place this year and you've covered a lot of ground already, but there's going to be a host of businesses and leaders, tech leaders out there joining this event. What would be the kind of messages you want to share with them who they might be still sitting on the fence about the world computer and thinking about where that's going to go? Well, there are lots of reasons why um, people at WEF should support the Internet Computer Project. Firstly, it's very important to have a public infrastructure that people can build on as an alternative to big tech. People should have a choice. And many of the benefits that the internet brought as a network um, are also brought by the internet computer as a compute platform. So that's one reason it's important. Another reason it's important is that cybersecurity is an increasingly um, big threat to the world. And the internet computer provides the solution because when you build a website, internet service, a web application on the internet computer, it's tamper-proof, which means that it's it's immune to traditional forms of, of cyber attack. You don't even need a firewall to, to protect it. So it provides the world with a solution to that. And thirdly, the self-writing internet paradigm will be a tremendous democratizing and empowering force around the world. I think it's safe to say that a, really a lot has happened since you first came up with this idea about a decade ago. But if I can ask you to take a step and look ahead, what is your end goal? What is your vision for Definity, say, in the next decade? So Definity is a not-for-profit foundation and um, our mission, our mandate is just to um, perform really more and more R&D on internet computer protocol technologies and uh, help support the internet computer ecosystem. So we'll, we'll continue doing that. The, the network's been growing very fast, so um, it grew more than 500% last year. So we'd like to see um, that continue and, and, and compounding at 500%. And for the internet computer to really establish the world computer paradigm um, such that for very many people around the world, it's the default choice when they want to build um, you know, website, web application, or internet service, and also to um, change the way some internet services run. So, for example, there's already some internet services running on the internet computer um, that run under the control of digital governance systems. So they run under the control of their communities um, who have, you know, take full responsibility for managing them, updating their code, and so on. Um, and then beyond that, I... I think the self-writing internet paradigm is going to, you know, fundamentally transform the tech landscape and change how people think about the internet. You know, in the future, people are just going to talk to the internet to create their own part of the internet ecosystem. And that's going to be tremendously empowering and democratizing and will fuel 
um, economic growth, I believe, um, ar around the world. So, um, you know, I hope even, you know, in two or three years from now, the self-writing internet is going to be an absolutely huge thing. I think a lot of things you talk about, we still can't get our head around just yet, but it's going to come. I hope so. Yeah. Well, it sounds that you're definitely going to have a very busy next couple of years and we'd love to get an update in the next year. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us here in Davos. Thank you. Rethink from the internet is no easy feat, but organizations like Definity are convinced that a world computer is the key to a smarter and safer internet for all.